through a lifetime spent in the pursuit of knowledge, one question consumed me. How did our world come to be? The old ones perished a thousand years ago, triggering the extinction of all life. She showed me how it was reborn. A little outcast girl, ignorant of her own importance. Through her, I learned that life was only saved through a technological miracle. Zero Dawn. A terraforming system composed of nine subordinate functions. Each playing its part to reshape Earth from a barren rock to a lush landscape. Tended and protected by the machines. And with her, I learned the deepest secret of them all. The secret of her birth. That she is a clone of Elizabeth Subek, Zero Dawn's creator. Born to prevent a new extinction. Driven by Hades, a malevolent AI. Given sentience by a mysterious signal of unknown origin. And with a little help from me. She prevailed in a great battle at the city of Meridian. Becoming a champion for all humankind. But as useful as she has been, now, I must leave her behind. For as she strives to put right what Hades sundered, I have made a new discovery. One that heralds both destruction and opportunity. Hey everybody, my name is Wallens and welcome back to the world of Horizon. We're here today with Horizon Forbidden West. I'm so excited right now, oh my god. Zero Dawn was one of the very first open world, really big open world games I played on the channel here, and I have a lot of really, really fond memories of it. It's so great to be back. I did brush up on Zero Dawn's story before starting this, but if you feel like I'm forgetting anything important, then please do let me know. I'm running out of time, Elizabeth. The land is dying. People are suffering. Soon, I'll starve. All because of a terraforming system that's spiraling out of control. And only I can fix it. Only I have your genetic code. It won't be long before we hit the point of no return. And then, extinction. I've been searching for months for what I need. A backup of Gaia, the AI you designed to control the system. But every time I think I have a lead, it comes to nothing. And every night, I have the same dream. I'm walking under a brilliant night sky, through a field of flowers. And when I arrive at the center, I see you, Elizabeth, waiting for me, even though you've been dead for a thousand years. You're the closest person I've ever had to a mother. For a moment, 
I feel whole. But it never lasts. A red plant. This world is your legacy, Elizabeth. I won't let it slip away. The valley below is my only remaining lead. My last hope to find the backup. I'll do whatever it takes to get it. I promise. <laughs> if it isn't Aloy, the savior of Meridian, anointed of the Nora. You know I hate being called that stuff. Well, consider it a punishment for running out on us the very same night we beat Hades. I grew up an outcast. Remember, I'm not much for parties. Yeah. But that one was in your honor. Just saying. Gotta so show up to your own parties. What are we doing? Must be urgent since you left so fast. Delving into ancient ruins? Or maybe it has something to do with the Blight. Both, actually, but, um... I, I should... Oh, no. I've been dragging you a long way. It's okay. After everything you've done to help the Nora and my family, I swore an oath to help you. No matter what, you're stuck with me now. Like bark on wood. Having friends is good, Aloy. Okay, but if you're going to come with me, you'll need to be able to see what I see. <sighs> A focus. Never thought I'd get your second sight. I'll give you another one later and show you how to back up your data. Data? Information on the device. We've got a lot to cover. Um, I'll have to explain everything as we go. Whoa, look at Aloy here. Talking all like a modern human. <laughs> See like this all the time? Since I was a little girl. Come on. Aloy seems so confident now. It's really pretty. But the blight won't let you forget Shall it. We? Grapes on the way here. We should find some medicinal plants. Stock up. So it's time for your first lesson with the focus. Sounds good. Let's get started. Time for me to get reacquainted. Varl. These plants don't look like the ones in the sacred lands. The focus helps you see the ones we need. Short pulses from your focus highlight valuable loot and resources in the world around you. R3. There. Those plants by the stream should do the trick. We're not in our homelands. We're far away. How far away? Are we already in the Forbidden West? You can store a limited number of medicinal berries in your medicine pouch. Up arrow. Ugh. Bitter? Yeah, well, at least they make you feel better. All right, we should keep going. 
Might want to grab more of these plants along the way. Yeah, good idea. Definitely. We're grabbing everyone that we can see here. Oh, wow, look at these waters. It's so luscious here. Is there a storm in the back? Yeah, I feel like back in Zero Dawn, we usually saw a lot of, like, desolate wastelands, but it's vibrant and very, very green. I love it. We can even swim. It's insane. Thank you. I don't even have full health. Yeah. There we go. So I think it's been six months since the events in Horizon Zero Dawn, and already we have a new problem here. This big red patch of weird grass. There's more of the red growths here, too. <coughs> oh, some of the blight is... It's peeling off. Dead skin. Is that how it spreads? Ugh. Yeah, there's some weird vapors coming out of it. Is it contagious? Maybe we shouldn't be getting too near. Those ruins. That's where we need to go. All right. Are you gonna jump? Go for a swim? Fastest way down. Oh. Oh, a swan dive, huh? What's over here? Whoa, it's like a vacation spot here, man. That's how pretty it is. Except we're here to try to save the world and all that, but hey, you know, you, you gotta rest even when you're trying to save the world. Here, but we can use the line to slide down. So you're saying I can use the rope or jump down into the river below? Pff, of course I'm gonna go jump down. Forget about the zip line. <laughs> Small supply cache. Chill water. Metal shards. Ah, here? yes, yes, yes. A few supplies. Do they still have the whole, like, opening crate system that they had back in the first one? Huh, I guess we'll have to see. Let's go this way. Circle before the apex of a jump. Uh... Oh! Okay, uh, I don't think I did it properly, but... I can we'll get a chance to try it again, hopefully. Ooh, there's stuff here too. My goodness. Ancient valuables. Ancient wreath, iron ingot. Like little jewels and stuff. I'm pretty sure we weren't able to... Like, were we able to swim before? This is insane. But it's not easy keeping up with a machine rider. You always were a good tracker. What are we after, exactly? The backup? Well, um... It's an AI. It's, um... It's hard to explain. Think of it like... A set of instructions that can fix the world. Sounds complicated. It is complicated, but you'll get used to it. Noticed you're, uh... Traveling light these days. Yeah. I, um... Ran into some trouble on the way here. Basta, I thought of my gear. Is that why we started at half health? There's more. <coughs> the blight's infecting all the plants. It's changing them. If it keeps spreading, nothing will grow. That's why we have to fix it. 
Does it not affect humans for now? Hopefully. Yeah, maybe it only affects plants. But eventually, if we keep letting it spread, <laughs> that's probably not going to be a good thing. Even if it doesn't kill us, we keep coughing. Maybe it's kind of like day, smoke. Just having a look. That's all. Definitely some kind of an ancient ruins here. Some metals, materials. Oh, oh, oh. This is a little bit dangerous. Let's get back up here. Might want to grab more of these plants along the way. Yeah, good idea. Which ones? Are there more? What's this rope? Oh! Ah, this is where the zip line goes to. Okay. Sure. <coughs> oh, whatever I just touched was slimy. I'll take your word for it. No, we gotta get out of here. I think we're losing a little bit of health from walking around it, too. <coughs> yeah, we are. All the coughing. Ooh. Salvaging machine carcasses as usual. And there they go. Looks like they left a carcass behind. Let's go down and check it out then. Oh, look, some stairs and railing. By default, your HUD is set to dynamic. It only displays information relevant to specific situations. Yep, 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 yep. That's how I like it. Let's not have a whole bunch of stuff cluttering up the screen. That's no good. Oh! Ancient chimes. Keys! And then iron ingot. Oh, even inside the water here. So for the past six months, it looks like Aloy has been chasing down how to find a copy of Gaia because Gaia was destroyed in trying to contain Hades. And we sort of solved the whole Hades situation at the end of Zero Dawn, although we don't know about the mysterious signal that activated it in the first place. So that might be related to the blight that's happening here too. And we need to find Gaia because without Gaia, we can't do anything, basically. Our own technology is not advanced enough. in that machine. Better take a closer look. One sec. You can hear the thundering in the back. Arrows. Someone took down this machine recently. Who else would come here? I don't know. We better craft some arrows of our own. There might be trouble up ahead. Good thing we already picked up some Ridgewood. A human killed this machine. All right. Now to craft some arrows. L1. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is coming back to me. Me too. Slowly. Arrows ready. Oh, look, there's a bunch of cars here. Pretty clear sign we're getting close to older civilization. Anything in the water? Yup. A water plant? Medicinal water weed. Sweet. How do I go below? Whoa, whoa! Oh. Here we go. Cool. Wow, it's so nice. It's so nice. We're here on a mission. Not for playtime.
There's a ladder. But can't reach it from here. Nothing a well-placed arrow can't knock free. Just have to target the lock. <gasps> For a second, I thought I was gonna do the whole Uncharted thing with, uh, Hey, can you give me a hand? Give me a boost here. But no. Eloy's an independent woman who don't need no boosting. After you. She can do it herself. Hey, the flooring here is not grass. It's all moss, right? I think so. That's kind of cool, although I don't know under what circumstances that would happen. Moss instead of grass. So many cars here. These ancient ruins. Until we get there, we're not really gonna get to know what the topic of the facility is about. But definitely there was something here. By the goddess. What was this place? I don't know. The transmission. The uh, message I found didn't say. Only that a backup might be here. We need to find a way in. So, um... What happened after I left Meridian? Well, there was a fuss when people realized you were gone. But then some of us figured you only would have left if it were for something important. You were right about that. Did we not tell anybody about what we're doing? Very few people can understand us though, without the focus. So I, I sort of understand why Aloy didn't say too much, but it's hard to shoulder all this by yourself. The blight's not just poisoning plants. It's killing animals too. Then people will get sick too. And starve. We're not gonna let that happen. Hmm, that's not a good sign. But I wonder if the fox ate the plant or did it just step in the area? How did it die exactly? That might be interesting for us to know too. If we uproot the area with a blight, would that be okay? We should find another way. But I guess it's not very feasible because they keep cropping up and there's just so much of them. Thank you. Can never have too many arrows. Looks like a dead end. Oh! Oh, you can open the backs of cars too. Shoot, I missed so many before. Metal shards, iron ingot. Oh, what kind of bird is that? Oh my gosh. Oh. No? Okay. I just touched was slimy. I'll take your word for it. Aloy, over here. Maybe we can get into the ruin this way. <coughs> Don't rush me. Don't rush me. I'm not lost. I'm just looking around. That's all. Especially when there's still stuff to collect. But look at the look at the blood over there. There's like portions sticking out like that. That's so unnatural. The vapors almost look a little bit digital sometimes, which might make sense because we are talking about robots and dinosaurs here. Maybe not the dinosaurs part, but the, the robots part. <laughs> Ooh, ancient black bracelet, also known as a Rolex watch. Ancient ring. Good to know some things always stay the same. Rings are always going to be rings. Yes, yes. Ancient ring, metal shards. Thank you. Don't think I can open this one. Okay, I'm not gonna obsessively collect every little thing. But in the beginning here, I just wanna make sure I have as much as I can. That's all. <laughs> he 
came back. You got bored of me. Or uh, did I did I walk to where you were? Down this way. Dead machines. Whoa! Get to the grass. Never seen one of those before. Me neither. Those dead machines have it on alert. How do you want to handle it? The focus can help us. We can scan the machine before we make our move. Okay. Scan machines with their focus to highlight weak points and patrol paths. Give it a second. Okay. See how parts of it are glowing? Those are its weak spots. Got it. Burrower. Weak against fire? Burrower sound shell. Detachable attack removal. Destroy when killed. Key upgrade resource. Resource container. It's I. It's a weak spot. Right. It's a weak spot, but it's indestructible? Concentrate. Slow time. Uh. The eye? Oh. Don't think I got it right. Varl! There you go. Another one's coming. Oh! Same thing. But if we want the parts, do we... Uh, do we have to shoot it off before it dies? Oh boy. Whoa, whoa, whoa! What did it just shoot at me? Whoa! Holy crap, dude! How does the focus know all that? It reads data on the machine. Like a hunter studying its prey? Yeah, kind of. Oh my god, it just leapt for me. So after the fuss over me leaving, what did everyone else do? Well, as soon as the celebration was over, my mother led the rest of the Nora home. The Sun King put his people to work rebuilding the city. And I set out to find you. Everyone's been busy then. Machine muscle. Small machine core. Machine muscle. That sounds like an oxymoron. Someone shot this machine too. Yeah, people are here. Friendly people? Unfriendly people? We don't know. And we want to replenish our arrows, yes. Very important. Wouldn't want to run out of arrows in the middle of battle. Thank you very much. I'll have all of this. So for the past six months, I wonder if Aloy's just been wandering around the place trying to look for hints, or... I guess she's using the focus to help her. Yeah. I'm just wondering how she even found out that there were ruins here to begin with. Another ladder. I need to shoot off the lock. Leave it at me. Got it. There's some big dish in the back there. You said you've had a focus since you were a child, right? Yeah. Found my first one when I fell into a ruin. Got the others from an old cache not long ago. It's good to have extras. But it's something that by far and large, like most people just aren't even aware of. It's a bit of an exclusive technology here. Because, I mean, just looking at us, we're using bows and arrows, and then suddenly we get this, like, super electronic thing. It might scare people, too. So 
Sprint. Through here. Going into a ruin of the old ones. Goddess protect us. We'll be okay. Yeah, like most people don't even know about what's happening in the old world. They say old ones or goddess and they put a religious spin on everything because they don't understand the technology. Welcome to the Far Zenith launch facility. Far Zenith? I, I know they made some tech trades with Zero Dawn, but why would they have a backup of Gaia? Please register with reception for the tour. I guess they want us to check in with them? Far Zenith was the group of like, um... Mm, don't think there's a way through. The richest 77 people on Earth, and they came together to try to find a way to get off Earth. Like they were building this spaceship to try to just ship themselves away, if I remember right. Please hold for identity scan. Access denied. Please wait here for personnel to assist you. Dr. Sobek. Okay. I guess they weren't on great terms with Elizabeth. Well, let's find a way in. Do you want to try? Please hold for identity scan. Access denied. Credentials not recognized. I guess it doesn't like me either. But maybe less so because they recognized me, they recognized who I am, and they don't like me after deciding they know me. They just don't know you to begin with. So that's uh, that's a little bit strange because do they not like Elizabeth? I should be able to pry this open. A burning fire. It's got to be recent. There's climbing gear. Guess someone dropped in from above. Oh, uh, the rope. Whoever left this here might have also shot those machines we found earlier. So where are they now? Good question. Get your bows and arrows ready. Ugh, what's that stench? Entire camp. I doubt. They must have come here to delve for scrap. Acid. That explains the smell. And it looks like something big came in from above. Crashed right through the camp. And then through the wall. I should take a look at the rubble in that gap. That's an Osirom person, right? One of the tribes that live in these lands. And I think they were like blacksmiths, weaponsmiths, that sort. They had a whole camp here. Yeah, see they have all these tools here. The Osirom people. the uh, practice sure acid whatever came through here brought this down as it went out if I can dislodge some of the debris, we might be able to squeeze through. Maybe I can find something to help in the camp. Aloy, over here. I think I got something. It's some kind of Osram prototype, I think. This hook looks like it can latch onto things. And this gear pulls it back. Hmm. It looks broken, but maybe we can repair it. Hook it to the debris. And pull it out. That could work. 
The focus can help us search the camp and identify anything we can use to fix the tool. My focus picked up a couple of things to check out. I'm guessing we shouldn't be touching that. Poor guy. Acid burned right through his armor. Yeah, it doesn't matter how thick your armor is if it's not acid resistant. Part of a machine could help fix the gears. Probably need more than one. There you go. Machine cable. Stronger than rope. All right, I think I have what I need to repair the tool. Or maybe even make something better. You could use this workbench. Are we just sort of a, a tinkerer now? Delver's tool. Polecaster. An improved version of a Delver's prototype tool that can latch onto and pole objects. Also enables grappling to specific points. One broken tool, one machine cable, one machine scrap. Okay. Sweet. There. Uh, pole caster. Now to test it on the debris. These are new, right? Workbenches? The pole caster is a versatile tool that allows you to manipulate objects in the environment that have a graded pattern. Oh, this is a cool pop-up. I like it. You can still walk around in the back. Hmm. To fire the pole caster, hold R2. Am I not close enough? like an engineer now. Damn. Well, it doesn't look like there's an easy way out of here. I should scan the area. We have to find a way to keep going. Huh. What's this thing for? Use your focus to learn more about your surroundings and solve puzzles. The pulse didn't turn up much. I better scan. Standard holographic access point. What's this? Whoa. Good morning. I'm Oswald Dalgard, and it is my pleasure to introduce you to Far Zenith. Forget what you think you know about us. Our truth is simple. We say reach for the stars, even if you have to cross 8.6 light years of space to get there. Please proceed into the auditorium, where we'll unveil our plans. Yeah, this is about the whole spaceship thingy, right? Wonder what's in this auditorium. Guess we'll find out. You could kind of tell that guy was a billionaire already, because this is such an important thing, but he was still wearing a t-shirt and jeans. <laughs> Got that attitude. I should open up my focus display and see what I can find. What do you want to look for here? Oh, huh. I might be able to get up there. Exposed framework capable of supporting human weight can be grappled to when in range. Okay, hold on. Can be grappled to in range. Jump and tap. X. Oh, okay. Wow, that's whoa. Wow, that works. That pull caster is useful. Too bad there's only one. Don't worry, I'll find you another way up. Damn, this is getting more uncharted by the minute. All this parkouring.
Well, all I gotta do is jump up. Holy crap, that's insane. Mm-hmm. While I'm moving, sprint and jump to perform a long jump. Oh my god! Woo! Good enough. I'm still alive. Okay, I gotta drop the ladder for Varl. I got you, buddy. There you go, Varl. Thanks. I wonder if we're gonna be mostly with a companion this time. Because it seems like we're gonna be together at least for a little bit more. You come in? Explorers, pioneers, trailblazers. And now Far Zenith is taking the next leap into the future. That's why we're proud to have resurrected the Odyssey. When our governments abandoned in orbit, Far Zenith will actualize in less than a decade. But that's only the beginning. When the ship is complete, we will send the Odyssey and her crew where no one's gone before. The Sirius system. There will create humanity's first off world colony. The Odyssey may take 300 years to reach it, but when we look up at the night sky, we'll know they're on their way. And in the words of our founder, the late Peter Chinvumbe, the truest form of immortality is... Data corrupt. <laughs> Playback stopped. <laughs> the old ones could fly through the sky? Between the stars? Uh, well, yes, sort of. That ship, the Odyssey, it, it never made it to the other star. Something went wrong, and it blew up. This was originally a plan by the government, like it said in the hologram, to... It was a response to climate change, ruining the whole planet. Is that why Elizabeth gave them a backup of Gaia? For a colony? Error. Public presentation file corrupted. Member recruitment file available. Do you wish to reactivate? Yeah, reactivate. Let's see what else they had to say. We all know the projections. Economic instability, new biocontagions, rampant AIs. How long before another catastrophe creates unacceptable risk for the world's elite? <sighs> we here at Far Zenith believe, escape the inevitable. And so we reach for the stars. Now you've seen what we're building here. Infrastructure to support the Odyssey's construction. A state-of-the-art data center to facilitate rapid technological advancements. And you've seen how we're managing public perception. So invest and join us. Claim your birth on the Odyssey. Preserve your way of life beyond the concerns of Earth. Only if you're rich. Well, they were right about the world ending. They just didn't know how. Yet. So everything they said back there about the next step for humanity, it was all a lie. These people only cared about saving their own skin. Yeah, well, didn't work out for them in the end. That Oswald guy mentioned a data center.
There. The backup. It should be stored in there. Won't be able to swim across. I guess we'll have to find a way around. Come on. Yeah, so the whole idea of going to space, I think originally... Oh, hold on. Can we read that? Is there more stuff to read? Notebook? Oh, whoa. Oh, there's a lot going on here, but uh, we'll look at it all in due time. Notebook. Let's see. No, this is just the text version of what we heard. Mm -hmm. Their plan was to create a off-world colony by migrating to space. But the spaceship blew up mid-flight, so everyone's dead, all the rich people are gone, and it didn't work. But originally, like the guy said, it was it was created by the government, and then they abandoned it at some point, and then they, the rich people here, Var Zenith, took up the project again, is I think what happened. I still can't believe the old ones could fly. They were capable of a lot of things. For good and bad. Sure seems like it. I wonder what it's like up there, among the stars. I wonder if we'll ever get to find out. 